The 2003 NBA Draft is considered by many to be one of the greatest draft classes of all time. But many people just remember the top five and forget about the other 53 players selected in this draft. This is what happened to every single pick. With the 58th pick, the Detroit Pistons selected big man Andreas Gliniadakis from Greece. At the time of the draft, the Greek center was already 22 years old, having won a EuroLeague title in 2000. Given that he was the 58th pick, Gliniadakis had a very brief NBA career. He would play one season with the Seattle Supersonics in 2007. The 57th overall pick was another international big man, Shea Yu Yang. However, he never made it to the NBA, bouncing around in the Chinese Basketball Association before retiring in 2017. The Boston Celtics had the 56th pick. They made a safe pick by drafting Brandon Hunter, a four-year player from Ohio University who excelled as a prolific rebounder and a double-double machine. Yet he couldn't convert his collegiate success into a professional one. After playing two years in the NBA, he moved on to a journeyman career all across the world. With the 55th overall pick of the draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves picked Rick Rickard from the University of Minnesota. Despite Minnesota being in desperate need of instant contributors to play next to their superstar Kevin Garnett, Rickard wasn't able to make the team. He never lived up to the hype he generated with Minnesota, Mr. Basketball accolades in high school, finishing an underwhelming pro career in the Japanese second division in 2018. The 54th pick of the draft, Nedzad Sinanovic, didn't have much better fortune in the NBA either. A towering 7'4 figure from Bosnia, Sina Novic was drafted by the Portland Trailblazers, but never made the team. Instead, he found decent success in Europe, playing at the highest level, EuroLeague teams like Real Madrid. Unfortunate, like most extraordinary tall basketball players, his career was cut short when he retired at 31 years old. The 53rd pick of the 2003 NBA Draft belonged to the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls select the Arizona State senior Tommy Smith. However, the powerful forward never quite lived up to his potential, failing to make the team following Summer League. He never established a successful professional career abroad either, playing in various low-level leagues in Syria and the Philippines, among others. Up until recent, big men dominated the NBA Drafts, Every team tried to find the next great center, taking a chance on limited big men with the hopes of developing them, especially in the early 2000s when Shaquille O'Neal was the most dominant force in the league. Teams tried to find their own centers to stand a chance. The Toronto Raptors, with the 52nd pick of the draft, had the same idea, drafting 7'3 center Raymond van de Heer from the Netherlands. The Raptors didn't succeed in their attempt. Van de Heer never made an appearance in the NBA, despite having a solid European career, where he won a EuroLeague title with Barcelona in 2003. He retired at age 27. With the 51st pick of the draft, the New Jersey Nets selected perhaps the only player you may have heard of so far, Kyle Korver of Creighton. Despite Korver having one of the more successful careers for a second round pick, even making an all-star game in 2015, it wasn't the Nets who enjoyed Corver's ascension. In fact, the Nets sold his draft rights to the Philadelphia 76ers for $125,000 on draft night to reportedly cover the Nets' summer league costs and to buy a new copy machine. They probably regretted that decision for the rest of Corver's wonderful career. He remains as one of the greatest three-point shooters of all time. The 50th pick of the draft belonged to Philadelphia, who later traded it to the Seattle Supersonics. This selection was the French point guard, Parcelis Morlende. Morlende's basketball career never took off and ended his career in 2017 as one of 11 players in this draft who never played a single game in the NBA. As of June 2023, he is coaching in France. The Indiana Pacers owned the 49th pick of the 2003 NBA draft. They selected small forward James Jones from University of Miami. This pick later proved to be one of the best picks of the draft, but it wasn't the Pacers who benefited from Jones' pinpoint accuracy from behind the three-point line. Jones's career took off once he made it to 
the Miami Heat. Playing aside LeBron James and Dwayne Wade, Jones won three NBA titles. After retiring, he rose quickly in the Phoenix Suns front office. And as of the end of the 2022-2023 season, he is the general manager and the president of basketball operations there. The player who was drafted with the 48th pick of the draft by the New Orleans Hornets was James Lane, a six foot nine center who skipped college to declare for the NBA draft, never made it to the Hornets roster. Constantly dealing with injury and conditioning issues throughout his career, Lang only managed to play 11 games in the NBA with the Wizards in 2007. He retired from professional basketball after he suffered a stroke in 2009. With the 47th overall pick of the draft, the Utah Jazz selected Alabama guard Mo Williams. Williams carried his prolific scoring in college into the NBA. Playing for seven different teams in 14 seasons in the NBA, Williams became a one-time All-Star and a one-time NBA champion, playing next to LeBron James for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He even once scored 52 points in a game. As of the end of the 2022-2023 season, he is the head coach of Jackson University men's basketball team. Another EuroLeague star who was never able to make the jump to the NBA is Sonny Bicirovic of Slovenia. Drafted by the Denver Nuggets with a 46th overall pick, the shooting guard who was a regular for the Slovenian national team. After winning a EuroLeague title in 2007 and playing professionally for 20 years, he retired in 2015. As of 2023, he is the sporting director for Panathinaikos, a European basketball powerhouse. The 45th pick in the draft belonged to the Chicago Bulls. They ended up selecting Matt Bonner of University of Florida but traded him immediately to the Toronto Raptors. Toronto did not have a roster spot available for Bonner, but promised him a spot if he went to Italy to play professionally for a year. Bonner did exactly that, then returned to the NBA to have a wonderful 13-year career, most notably with the San Antonio Spurs. Bonner, a deadly three-point shooter, was one of the original floor spacing centers in the league and played an important role in two Spurs championships. The 44th overall pick in the draft went to another international big man prospect. Malik Badion from Senegal was selected by the Houston Rockets, who saw him as a raw but intriguing long-term prospect. Despite making several efforts in different summer league teams, Badion never caught the eye of an NBA scout enough to make a roster. With the 43rd pick of the 2003 NBA Draft, the Milwaukee Bucks selected the Kentucky shooting guard, Keith Bogans. They traded him to the Orlando Magic on draft day, and he immediately started making a name for himself as a solid defensive shooting guard. A prototypical 3 and D type of role player, Bogans had a successful journeyman career, most notable in deep playoff runs with the Orlando Magic in 2008 and the Chicago Bulls in 2011. The 42nd pick of the draft was used to draft another international center, but this one was a triumph. Zaza Pushulia, the Georgian big man out of Turkey, entered the draft as a 19-year-old raw prospect. Selected by the Orlando Magic, he went on to have a successful 16-year career as a solid interior presence. A good rebounder and a defender, he was a starter in the Golden State Warriors back-to-back -back championships in 2017 and 2018. Though most people may remember him for stepping on Leonard's foot during Game 1 of the 2017 Western Conference Finals, causing him to miss the rest of the series. As of 2023, he is still with the Warriors as a basketball operations consultant. The pick right before Pashulia was another successful second round pick. The Seattle Supersonics, who owned the 41st pick, drafted shooting guard Willie Green, but traded him to Philadelphia the same day. Green made a name for himself as a good defender and team player, and later in his career, as a great leader. This reputation helped him climb up the coaching ladder quickly, following a 12-year pro career. He became the head coach of the New Orleans Pelicans in 2021, and still is as of the end of the 2022-2023 NBA season. With the 40th pick of the 2003 NBA draft, another defensive-minded guard was selected. Yet Derek Zimmerman, who was drafted by the Golden State Warriors, didn't enjoy a similar level of success. He spent early stages of his career 
playing in the D-League, even winning two Defensive Player of the Year awards there. He only managed to play two games in the NBA before bouncing around in Europe, retiring in 2014. The 39th pick of the draft went to one of the tallest players to ever play the game. Standing at 7'6", Slavko Vranis of Montenegro was drafted by the New York Knicks. Despite coming into the NBA with high hopes, Vranis never received more than one 10-day contract with Portland in 2004. His only NBA appearance came during those 10 days. His NBA career ended with one foul in three minutes, without any further stats. He failed to establish a very high-level professional career in Europe either. The Washington Wizards, with the 38th pick of the draft, selected Steve Blake from the University of Maryland. Blake had an incredible collegiate career, leading the Terrapins to an NCAA championship with his exceptional passing and leadership skills. He was able to carry on his success in the NBA to a certain extent, establishing himself as a solid floor general. He played in 870 games in the NBA, most notably with the Los Angeles Lakers alongside Kobe Bryant. The Atlanta Hawks, with a 37th pick of the draft, selected Travis Hansen from BYU. Despite having a wonderful college career, Hansen fell in the draft because he was a 25-year-old prospect after taking two years off basketball to serve as a full-time missionary for The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This may have prevented him from achieving the highest levels of success in the NBA, but he played for top Spanish clubs between 2004 and 2010, before injuries ended his career in 2011. The 36th pick of the 2003 NBA draft was Mario Austin, who enjoyed a dominant college career with Mississippi State, but couldn't take the next step in the pros. He would become another player who never appeared in a single NBA game. Trying his chance in European basketball, injuries derailed his career, causing him to bounce around in lower-level leagues in Kosovo, Chile, and Kuwait. With the 35th pick of the draft, the Milwaukee Bucks select Szymon Szewczyk from Poland. One of the best prospects from Europe at the time of this draft, Szewczyk failed to live up to the hype. Not only did he never play a game in the NBA, but he also never made it to the Euro League or the highest levels of international basketball. The international prospect selected with a 34th pick stands in stark contrast to Shevchek. Sophocles Shortsinitis, a Greek wonder kid of Cameroonian descent, was drafted by the Los Angeles Clippers. Despite never playing a single game in the NBA, Baby Shaq, as he was widely known internationally, dominated the Greek League and Euro League in his prime, struggling with chronic weight issues his whole career, Shortanitsis still managed to make a name for himself when his interior domination helped Greece beat Team USA in the 2006 FIBA World Championship semifinals. Jerome Beasley, the 23-year-old big man out of North Dakota, was the 33rd pick in the NBA draft. Being selected by the Miami Heat, Beasley appeared in two games for them before being cut. Never being able to meet expectations, Beasley retired from basketball in 2012 after nine years of journeyman career across the globe. The 32nd overall pick in the draft belonged to the Los Angeles Lakers, who used it on Luke Walton, the son of first ballot Hall of Famer, former MVP Bill Walton. Luke never enjoyed the same success his father did in the NBA, but he still had a respectable NBA career as a solid bench player for the Lakers for nine years. A good passer with high basketball intelligence, Walton contributed to back-to-back -back Lakers championships in 2009 and 2010. After retiring, he would go on to coach. He would go on to have unsuccessful stints as the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers and the Sacramento Kings. As of 2023, he is an assistant coach for the Cleveland Cavaliers, the same team he ended his career with. With a 31st overall pick, another role player who contributed to an NBA championship was drafted. Jason Capona, who was selected by the Cleveland Cavaliers, was one of NBA's premier three-point shooters. He not only won an NBA championship with the Miami Heat in 2006, but he also won back-to-back three-point contests during the All-Star Weekend. It may be hard to believe, but there was indeed more than one Polish big man who disappointed in this draft. Mache Lamp, the 30th overall pick of the New York Knicks, had three NBA stops 
playing in 61 games in total for them. However, he did manage a decent European career, playing for top-tier teams like FC Barcelona and Maccabi Tel Aviv. That wraps it up for the second round of the 2003 NBA Draft. The first round of the draft is stacked with more talent and more star players. If you've made it to this point through, take a moment and make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next upload. And that starts with the last pick of the first round. The Dallas Mavericks selected Josh Howard, a senior from Wake Forest with a 29th overall pick. A modern swingman with 3 and D capabilities, Howard immediately stepped into a secondary scorer role, next to Dirk Nowitzki, rising above expectations to even make an all-star team in 2007. Two ACL tears in 2010 and 2012 ended Howard's career early. He is currently the head coach for University of North Texas at Dallas. The 28th overall pick in the draft belonged to the San Antonio Spurs, coming off an NBA championship. They weren't in need of a rookie, so they traded their pick to the Phoenix Suns, which ended up being Leandro Barbosa, an electrifying shooting guard from Brazil. One of the premier six-man scorers of his generation, Barbosa's lightning-quick first step earned him a steady role in various playoff teams, most notably with the Golden State Warriors, with whom he won a championship. As of the end, of the 2022-2023 season, he is an assistant coach under Mike Brown of the Sacramento Kings. The 27th overall pick of the 2003 NBA Draft is more known for his post-playing career than his time in the NBA. Kendrick Perkins, who entered the NBA Draft directly out of high school, was drafted by the Memphis Grizzlies to later be traded to the Boston Celtics. Spending the majority of his career as the Boston Celtics starter, he was known as a stout defender. He helped the Celtics win a title in 2008 and went on to have a fine career with the Oklahoma City Thunder as well. However, as of the end of the 2022-2023 NBA season, he is currently an analyst for ESPN and has at times questionable takes. And Duty Eby, an English basketball player of Nigerian descent, was the 26th pick of the NBA draft. Another player directly out of high school, he didn't enjoy the same successes some of his peers in this draft did. Despite being projected to be a defensive wing, Eby never developed on the offensive end and moved on to a professional career in various countries such as Israel, Italy, Lebanon, and China. An international wing who found more success in the NBA was the Argentinian swingman, Carlos Delfino. Delfino, who was drafted with the 25th pick of the draft by the Detroit Pistons, already had a solid career in Italy. He stayed for another year in Europe, then moved over to the NBA. He played for four teams in eight seasons and established himself as a trustworthy rotation player. He was an integral part of the dominant Argentinian national team, winning a gold medal in the 2004 Olympics. As of 2022-2023 season, he was still playing in the top tier of the Italian league as a 41-year-old. With the 24th overall pick of the draft, the Los Angeles Lakers picked Brian Cook from the University of Illinois. After being a productive four-year college player, Cook was mostly a backup player during his NBA career. After a few seasons with the Lakers as a bench player, he had short stints with four different teams, but never managed to crack the rotation for any other team. After trying his luck internationally for a couple of years, he retired in 2015. The 23rd pick of the 2003 NBA Draft belonged to the Portland Trailblazers. They used it on another prospect straight out of high school, Travis Outlaw, a McDonald's All-American player and a five-star recruit in high school, Outlaw found limited success in the NBA. He was a decent rotation player for the Blazers for five years, thanks to his defensive chops. Once the Blazers traded him away in 2010, Outlaw failed to find the same level of success in his later stops and retired from basketball when he was only 30 years old in 2014. Zoran Planinic from Croatia was the 22nd overall pick of the New Jersey Nets. The Croatian League MVP and a promising young wing in Europe, Planinic came to the NBA with high expectations. He couldn't live up to them, 
as he played 148 games in three seasons with the Nets, averaging only 10 minutes a game. After failing to make his mark in the NBA, he played for elite European clubs like CSKA Moscow before retiring in 2014. With the next pick, a European player whose NBA career was much more of a triumph was drafted. Boris Dia was the Atlanta Hawks selection with the 21st overall pick. It took Dia a few years before establishing himself as a rotation player. After winning the Most Improved Player Award in 2006, he was a key figure in the Steve Nash-led Phoenix Suns teams and the San Antonio Spurs team who won the 2014 championship. Dia's ability to pass, dribble, and shoot while playing center became a footprint for many teams' roster construction later. As of 2023, he is the president of Metropolitans 92 in the French Basketball League, the team Victor Wembanyama played for before being drafted by the San Antonio Spurs. With the 20th overall pick of the draft, the Boston Celtics selected Dante Jones from Duke University and immediately traded him to Memphis Grizzlies. Throughout his NBA career, Jones had a reputation for being a good defensive player, as well as a great leader in the locker room. He had many career stops in the NBA and won a title in 2016 as a member of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Since 2020, he has been an assistant coach with the Los Angeles Clippers. The Utah Jazz, who had the 19th pick in the draft, used it on Sasa Palovic from Serbia. A swingman with good size, Palovic played a role as a starter in the LeBron James-led Cleveland Cavaliers team, who made the 2007 NBA Finals. However, that was the high-water mark for Palovic's basketball career. He was part of a trade in 2009 that brought Shaquille O'Neal to Cleveland. After that, Polovic had multiple short stints around the NBA, but never found the same level of success he did with the Cavaliers. The 18th pick of the draft belonged to the New Orleans Hornets, who found a long-term star player by selecting David West from Xavier University. The AP National College Player of the Year, West made an immediate impact for the Hornets as well. Forming a formidable partnership with Chris Paul, they carried the Hornets to multiple playoff berths, while West earned two All-Star selections. He didn't make more All-Star appearances in his later stops, but enjoyed more team accomplishments with the Indiana Pacers, and more notably with the Golden State Warriors, where he won back-to-back -back championships as their backup center. He retired after the second championship in 2018. The 17th pick of the 2003 NBA Draft didn't enjoy the same level of success. Zarko Chabarkaba, power forward from Serbia and Montenegro, was selected by the Phoenix Suns. Suffering from recurring injuries throughout his short NBA career, he only played in 150 games in three seasons with the Suns and the Warriors. He retired as a 26-year-old and started focusing on his career as a basketball executive. With the 16th pick in the draft, the Boston Celtics selected Troy Bell from Boston College, but traded him to the Memphis Grizzlies on the same day. Despite being one of the greatest players in Boston College history, he failed to make an impact in the NBA. He played a total of six games in his NBA career before having an underwhelming professional career in Europe and South America. The Orlando Magic, who had the next pick, used it to draft Reese Gaines from University of Louisville. A dominant college player, Gaines couldn't carry the same dominance to the NBA. After playing for three teams in three seasons in the NBA, Gaines finished the rest of his career as a journeyman in Europe. As of 2023, he is a video coordinator for his alma mater, Louisville. With the 14th pick in the draft, the Seattle Supersonics selected point guard Luke Ridnour from Oregon. Ridnour became a part of the rotation as a rookie and had a long NBA career as a backup or rotation guard. After playing for five teams in 12 seasons, he retired from basketball in 2016. The 13th pick of the draft, Marcus Banks, was selected by the Memphis Grizzlies but was traded to the Celtics in the aforementioned trade involving Troy Bell and Kendrick Perkins. Despite having two promising seasons with the Celtics in his first two years in the league, Banks never found a long-term home with an established role in the NBA. Despite his athleticism, ball handling, and good defense, he fell out of the NBA in 2011, 
and retired in 2016. The Seattle Supersonics, with the 12th pick of the draft, found a franchise icon who would stay with the team for 15 years, Nick Collison. The power forward out of Kansas never set the world on fire with his individual performance, never averaging double figures in a season, but he made a name for himself as a wonderful team player and leader. He stayed with the team after the franchise moved to Oklahoma City and retired as a Thunder in 2018. As of 2023, he still works with the team as an executive and his number four hangs in the rafters. With the 11th pick in the draft, the Golden State Warriors selected Mikhail Pietras, a 21-year-old small forward from France. During his 10-year NBA career, Pietras was known as one of the strongest defenders in his position, most notable for his defense against LeBron James in the 2009 playoffs, when he was a member of the Orlando Magic. After his NBA career, he moved back to France and retired from professional basketball in 2016. The 10th pick of the 2003 NBA draft belonged to the Washington Wizards. They used it to select Jarvis Hayes from the University of Georgia. Despite showing promise as a rookie and sophomore, a knee injury kept him out of the rotation for a significant period. Once he returned, he was never the same player. He tried to revive his career with the Pistons and the Nets, but had to resort to an underwhelming overseas career. As of 2023, Hayes is an assistant coach for the Georgia State Panthers. The New York Knicks used the ninth pick of the draft on Michael Sweetney, a powerful big man out of Georgetown. His productivity as a scorer and rebounder never translated to the NBA as he struggled with health and conditioning issues. He finished out his career playing for different leagues in South America. The Milwaukee Bucks, with the eighth overall pick in the draft, selected TJ Ford, a floor general from Texas. Ford was a very accomplished college player, winning the Naismith Player of the Year Award in 2003. His NBA career had a very promising start as well, showing signs of being a long-term starting point guard in the league Ford was held back due to injuries. The contusion of the spinal cord he suffered at the end of his rookie season not only kept him out for all next season, but also caused many recurring injuries. He would end up retiring when he was 29 years old in 2012. The Chicago Bulls, with the seventh pick of the draft, selected Kurt Hinrich, who went on to have a respectable career. A wonderful perimeter defender and a floor general, Henrich spent 11 of his 13 seasons in the league with the Chicago Bulls. He retired from basketball in 2016 with career averages of 11 points, three rebounds, and five assists per game. As of the end of the 2022-2023 NBA season, he is still the Bulls' all-time franchise leader in three-pointers made. With the sixth overall pick in the draft, the Los Angeles Clippers selected the German-American center, Chris Kamen, out of Central Michigan. K-Man never found team success in the NBA, as he bounced around various mediocre teams throughout his career. But in 2010, as a member of the Clippers, he made his lone all-star appearance. The seven-foot rebounding machine retired from the NBA in 2016. The top five of this draft is famously one of the all-time great draft classes, and this starts with one of the best number five overall draft picks in NBA history. The Miami Heat, with a fifth pick, drafted Dwayne Wade, the electrifying shooting guard out of Marquette. The Flash led the Heat to three NBA championships while collecting individual accolades like eight All-NBA selections, 13 All-Star appearances, and a Finals MVP. One of the greatest scoring guards in the history of the league, Wade would spend his entire career with the Miami Heat, never ever leaving for any different team. He would retire in 2019 as a Miami Heat. The Hall of Famer purchased a minority ownership stake in the Utah Jazz in 2021 and remains in an active role with the organization as of 2023. Chris Bosh was the fourth overall selection in the 2003 NBA draft. Drafted by the Toronto Raptors, the double-double machine took Toronto to two straight playoff appearances before signing with Miami in 2010. Bosch, one of the most consistent big men in the NBA, made 11 straight All-Star games and played a massive role in the back-to-back -back Miami championships. 
Bosch had to stop playing basketball in 2016 due to a career-threatening blood clot issue he suffered. Despite his career being cut short, he remains one of the greatest Heat players of all time. With the third overall pick in the NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets selected one of the greatest scorers of all time, Carmelo Anthony. After carrying Syracuse to a national championship as a freshman, Carmelo Anthony was considered the second greatest prospect of his generation, and he lived up to the hype throughout his NBA career. A 10-time All-Star, 6-time All-NBA, 1-time scoring champion, Anthony is forever etched into NBA fans' memories with his lethal isolation scoring. He would retire at the end of the 2022-2023 season after not signing with any team. The infamous second pick in one of the greatest drafts of all time, considered one of the worst draft selections ever, the Detroit Pistons selected Darko Milicic with the second overall pick over the likes of Anthony, Bosch, and Wade. An 18-year-old center from the Serbian League, Milicic was a big unknown coming into the league, but was considered a superb prospect. However, throughout his professional basketball career, he struggled under the mighty expectations. The Pistons never gave him enough playing time since they were a championship-level team and won the title in Milicic's rookie year. This slowed down Milicic's development. He found more playing time in the chances he got with the Orlando Magic, the Memphis Grizzlies, and the Minnesota Timberwolves, but he never took the next step into becoming a consistent rotation player. After retiring from basketball in 2012 at the age of 29, Milicic tried his chances in kickboxing and farming, and as of 2023, enjoys a quiet life in Serbia. And the number one overall pick in the 2003 NBA Draft was the chosen one himself, LeBron James of Akron, Ohio. Drafted by his home state team with the Cleveland Cavaliers directly out of high school, James managed to meet every expectation possible, and then some. As a high school player, he was already on the cover of basketball magazines. His games were broadcast by the national media, and he was heavily touted as one of the greatest basketball prospects we have ever seen. Despite all this pressure, LeBron managed to put together one of and has an argument for the most impressive careers in all of professional team sports. His versatility and durability are unparalleled as he made 19 straight All-NBA teams and All-Star appearances. A four-time champion and four-time MVP, King James maintained his all-time level through 2023, even at the age of 38. He would even break Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's 39-year record for the most points scored by an NBA player in his career. Despite playing the most minutes and most games of any player in this draft class by a significant margin, he is the only one active NBA player as of the end of the 2022-23 season. And that is what happened to every single pick in the 2003 NBA Draft. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss more videos.